Good morning, Vivian Elementary. Today is Friday, February 16th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, Pledge of Allegiance to the U.S. and Texas flag. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Blue League Champions Creed. I believe in myself and my ability to do my best at all times. Just for today, I'll do all things one for the time. To do my best and not waste a day, I am a Blue League Champion. Please remain seated for a moment. You may be seated. It's pizza, chicken tenders, spinach, corn, wheat roll. Happy birthday to the following students. Xavier Reyes, second grade. Noah Normalejo, first grade. Connor Scott, first grade. Torres Sanchez, second, third grade. Don't forget to go to the office. Ms. Delgado. Good morning. I have an announcement for fourth and fifth grade. We are now um, accepting um, students to sign up for this year's Battle of the Books. It will be held April 2nd. That is a Monday. So we still have about five weeks until the Battle of the Books. For those of you that are not familiar with the program, the Battle of the Books is a set of questions over this year's Blue Bonnet books, which many of you have already read. So if you would like to um, Enter a friendly competition with your other classmates, and um, you can come up with a group of three to four people in a group. Sign up here in the library, and just make sure that each of you have read some of the books on this list. Um, it's best if everybody in your group has read five different books from the list. That way, everyone has read all 20 books. The team that wins here at Bowie will go on to the district battle of the books in May, which will be at Dick's Classic Car Garage um, here in San Marcos. It includes lunch and a little recess um, field trip. So it's a fun day for the team that wins here at Bowie. So think about it, talk with your friends, and if you are ready to sign up, come to the library and enter Battle of Books. Thank you. Now here's Mr. Brown's precept of the day. Those who try to do something and fail are infinitely better than those who try it. Do, to do nothing and succeed. Lloyd Jones. Now for the joke of the day. Why could it also hold her balloon? I don't know why. She let it go. <laughs> this joke is submitted by Joshua in Miss Salmon's class. That's all. That's all for today. Remember, movie champions are respectful, responsible, and safe. Have, Have a great, great day. And now a book talk. Today's book talk is about Newbery Award winner A Wrinkle in Time. Four extraordinary children are distraught about the disappearance of their father. Meg, Calvin, and Charles Wallace go out with three witches to find their beloved father. Meg is a brave young woman who loves her father and younger brother. Charles is a five-year-old kid who is very intelligent. Calvin is a friend who helps them find their father. In the end, after all of the death-fying extreme experiences that they encounter, they finally find their father in the Tesseract. The book was so good, I couldn't put it down and finished it in less than three days. The book is so mysterious. I can't wait to see the movie, which comes out March 9th. In fact, we can watch the trailer right now. What if we are here for a reason? What if we are a part of something truly divine? Imagine 91 billion light years traveled. I could not. Your father has accomplished something extraordinary, also dangerous. He's trapped by a darkness that's actively spreading throughout the universe. 
And the only one who can stop it is you. Be a warrior. I'll try. You're going to be tested every step of the way. Trust nothing. Darling, time for dinner. Are you lost? The only thing faster than light is the darkness.